Hey friends, for all people who are new to my channel, um, I'm Liv and I do mystery and also horror, um, certain topics, not all. It will be more a mystery channel than a horror channel. But I have also some topics about horror. Um, yes, so if you liked the video, um, please subscribe to my channel so you can always watch the latest videos that I upload. Today's video is about three creepy stories, real stories, from people who I asked uh, on Reddit. So have fun with the video. I was on a tall, timely lit highway one late evening. A car followed me for about an hour. I noticed them early on, but there aren't many exits, so no big deal, they are just going the same way I am. Then I saw a rest stop and I got a weird feeling and I randomly popped into the rest area, but didn't stop, just excited and kept driving. They slowed down, but kept following me and also didn't stop at the rest stop. Okay, weird, but could just be a coincidence. Next 30 miles, they are still following me and I'm getting more and more anxious. I'm in the right side lane. Anyway, I exit at the next exit ramp. I see they are exciting the same exit too, but slowing more rapidly on the ramp than I am. The traffic light changes before I can stop, so I press the gas and hop right back on the highway. He continued to follow. I now strongly suspect that this person was tailing, following me. I was so scared, but also trying to remain calm. I drove to the next exit, which was a downward ramp this time. I waited until last minute to shift lanes, to take the exit. The driver behind me once again did the same. They fell back and slowed very quickly and cut their headlights off. I couldn't make out anything about the driver because they were slowing so fast they were just out of sight. I stopped at the red traffic light at the end of the ramp and put my right turning indicator on. I was so scared I didn't know if they were going to drive into my car, get out of the vehicle and approach me. My mind was racing. They stayed 3-4 car length behind me. They put no turning indicator on. When the traffic light changed I inched up a bit and at the last minute, instead of turning, I went straight forward, up the ramp and back onto the highway. I watched behind me and the car stopped at the green light the entire time to go up the ramp. As I was merging onto the highway, I saw that they put their lights back on and turned left. These were back roads. All the exits near my location were small towns. The highway didn't have many, if any, street lamps and lights. It was very scary. I've never driven on that highway again and ruled probably during the daytime, but have always just opt to pay the tolls instead. I can't explain why they did that or what their intentions were. If anything, I just had a horrible feeling I couldn't shake for an entire week. Once my sister and I were come babysitting our siblings. The TV was on, but the volume was at one or two. We were sitting there when we heard our dad call out, Noah, Noah's sister, come help me get the groceries. We go out to help and no one is there. The dog typically hears when someone is coming up to the door and he didn't seem to notice. We asked our siblings if they heard anything 
or called our name and they said no. Ten minutes later, Dad is actually home. This takes place in middle school. Between my boss would come at like 6.13ish. So I was just sitting there waiting and I look in the sky and I'm thinking, huh, wonder why the sun's up so early and the rest of the sky is dark. I'm starting at this light thinking I'm going crazy. I take a picture and I think, hmm, people are gonna think this is the sun, aren't they? So I also took a pic of the moon above me. I continue to stare at this thing and I turn to show someone and it's gone. I know not much happened. I also took a walk one day and saw this pill-shaped thing in the sky and it was moving really fast. Yeah, that was the video and let me know what do you think about these stories because I liked the story about the ghost dad at most and yeah and if you have a creepy real story too so please um, feel free to send me a story you can DM me or send me an email like you wish and I will take a look and if it fits um, I will do a video about it if you wish and you can also be anonymous because not all people like to be known in the videos, you know? That's also okay. Stay healthy and creepy. Like every time. Bye.